I'm in love with her. She's so tasty. <laughs> I am so freaking excited. Okay, so my first ever YouTube video is going live at 6 p.m. tonight. I am so freaking excited. Ah! How cool. How cool. Um, <laughs> I'm like a little excited puppy. It's taken me about two weeks to get it all sorted. <laughs> It probably should have been up a while ago because it's a wedding guest outfit haul and we're now at the 1st of September. But I was thinking it's actually quite an autumnal haul because there's a lot of like green and blue and there's a bit of black and there's some like dark pinks and um, kind of orangey like auburn colours. So I think it could work. Anyway, it's... What day is it? It's Wednesday the 1st of September. I am putting out my first ever YouTube video today, which I will link because by the time this vlog goes up, it will be live. And I would love it if you guys would go and watch that too, because I really like it. I think it's really, really cool. Um, and I really, really enjoyed filming it. It was so nice to just buy loads of dresses and try them all on. And I had a reason to buy them as well. Um, so go and check that out and let me know what you think plenty more hauls in the pipeline. I tell you now, I tell you how excited I am for autumn winter fashion. I don't know what it is this year. I feel like because we've not really had much of a summer at all, at all, I'm just so excited for autumn now. Like I cannot wait for leather trousers and oversized jumpers and big coats and boots and cozy clothes. And oh, it just makes me so happy. I'm already online shopping for turtlenecks and winter coats. Is that bad? I don't think it is. I think it's called preparation. Anyway, I am rambling on as always. Happy Wednesday! Because it's so quick, it's so easy, it's quite healthy, quite being the keyword, and it's super yummy. Literally, let me show you what we use. So, egg noodles, a nest of egg noodles, then I put a whole pack of prawns in because I'm a piglet, then I use soy sauce, teriyaki sauce for on top when I finished. Broccoli, tender stem broccoli. Spring onions. <coughs> Fuck, sorry. Am I allowed to swear? It's my, it's my YouTube, I'll swear. Chicken stock cube. And then I have garlic salt. Oh, not even in camera. <laughs> garlic salt, which actually my, basically my brother got married. Mm two weeks ago now and these were their wedding favours and I've already rinsed I mean nearly all of it so that means that I stink of garlic and I've had a lot of salt in my food but they're beautiful they're so so gorgeous so I'm gonna cook this and I thought that I would show you what I'm gonna use and then show you the finished product Okay, so I'm about to eat my lunch, but I forgot to show you. I really need to stop swearing. Oh, God, Jesus. Um, I always have a little drizzle. Oh my God, actual heaven. of teriyaki sauce. Now, this looks like the biggest meal ever, but it's not. Well, it is, but it's really tasty. And I won't put you through the pain of 
watching me eat all of it, but I will do a little taste test. Just see if it's any good. Mm. The flavours just go so well together. Like, it's literally so simple. I didn't show you what I was doing, which is, I'm not that good at this yet. I'm trying to work out how to get different angles of doing different things. But literally, egg noodles in some boiling water with a tiny bit of salt, chicken stock, and some soy sauce, like a dash of soy sauce, nothing too much. Then I put little bit of oil in a frying pan with my broccoli and my spring onions and then let that fry off a little bit i use pre-cooked prawns so with that i just put them in towards the end just get a little bit of heat through them whack it all in the um, noodles once all the water has evaporated stir it together whack it in a bowl sprinkle some sesame seeds on top and then a drizzle of teriyaki sauce pièce de résistance as they would say in france i think anyway there we are. I'm going to go and enjoy my meal. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed my first cook with me. I can't really call it a cook with me. I'm back so much sooner than I was thinking of being because I'm literally sat here with my lunch. But I was just thinking to myself, how cool would it be if like, and how innovative would it be if you could taste or smell through a camera or through a screen? Like, I would just love for everyone to be able to smell my meal right now and taste my meal right now because it's banging it's so good i just i'm in love with her she's so tasty and i can't get over it i am honestly utterly over the moon with this this is probably the best one i've done so far and you're getting to virtually oh i hate that word enjoy it with me also sneak peek of my flat Woo. <laughs> uh, i will 110 percent do a flat tour soon i am we were literally saying yesterday we really want to get some new pieces for the flat because it, we've been here for like nearly seven months now we're so ready to just have a bit of a rejig a revamp make it more homely we added these prints recently love those added a few bits over here as well like we're obsessed but it's getting into autumn winter time i feel like a trip to home sense is needed h&m home i've got some beautiful pieces in right now and i'm gonna have to add some additions to our apartment i think it's the time of year where we just need to jazz it up a little bit so soon come that will be happening within the next few weeks i might even go shopping this weekend who cares so yeah welcome to my apartment happy thursday it is the 2nd of september it's half past three and i am finally about to do my face for the first time in like over a week because we're going out tonight we're going to this open door cinema open door open <laughs> open air cinema to see snatch uh so i thought i'd do a quick quick get ready with me um and show you some of my favorite favorite products i mean my get ready routine is so minimal so it might be a little bit boring but hopefully it won't and hopefully you might have some good recommendations for me too um it's a very minimal i hope it's not noisy it's a very minimal makeup look i literally i'm gonna put a little bit of just do my face my face is feeling quite dry um this might sound a bit weird but i always feel like when sorry to be a classic brit and start talking about the weather but when the weather starts to change my skin starts to get quite dry like i've got i've had a few like really random spots um in different places so it's not like you know when you get the strips of spots for different things so i don't know if maybe it's the weather causing me a few issues but hopefully as things start to get a bit colder autumn weather starts to arise and stay properly my skin will get a bit better because it seems to settle down when like the seasons aren't changing i don't know if i'm the only one that experiences that i can't be anyway 
I am a Charlotte Tilbury lover through and through. Pretty much every product I use is from there. <laughs> um, but she is my go-to. I literally love Charlotte Tilbury products. Um, so we're starting today with her classic Magic Eye Rescue and it's literally not gonna focus. I never know how to get this to focus. Meh, it just doesn't wanna focus. I need to work out how to get this to focus because I literally just never know. I mean, we're gonna be here for hours and it's never gonna work, so I'm really sorry about that. But I, I use her um, Magic Eye Cream. I'm hitting pounds, so I'm gonna have to get some more soon because it'll be a bit of a nightmare if I don't. I was literally today, I was um, thinking about like the, the YouTube views I want to start doing and I was gonna use this as a little bit of a get to know me, but I'm actually gonna save that for a proper, vi proper video because I love watching them. I think they're so fun. And I'm literally just gonna sit down, maybe do a little bit of a like, I don't know, I might get some sushi <laughs> and just do a get to know me. So soon come, but um, next I am using her Magic Cream, another one of my absolute staples. Look how little I have left. It's just not, it's not okay. I'm like scraping the barrel here a little bit, but. I just love her stuff, like, it's weird actually because I've got a few friends who can't use Charlotte Tilbury products because they react so badly with their skin, um, but I'm really quite thankful that I can use them because I just think her stuff is so nice and also this cream, I don't know if it just literally smells of cream, but it smells so good and it makes me feel super super silky and soft so i can't complain about that um but yeah it's thursday i've had a pretty kind of quiet day in terms of work like not much exciting stuff has happened um went for a little walk at lunch i went to zara i'm really 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 annoyed because i went in the other day and i found this like overshirt it's like a khaki overshirt um actually if you watch Nadia Anya, she bought in her recent vlog. I think she put it out like two days ago. Um, so maybe on Monday or Tuesday. And she bought it and she was wearing it in her recent vlog. And I'd literally been in the same day and didn't buy it. So I went back today to get it. And it's sold out. And it's sold out online as well. They've got like the dark green and then they've got black and like an off black and then denim in two shades of denim but they've sold out of the khaki one and i literally had this vision in my mind of like the khaki shirt kind of done up with like a big black um coat over the top leather trousers and like some white trainers or either even some like black boots or something such a simple look i can't believe i said what this in. um such a simple look but so it's it's so easy with an overshirt to just make yourself look and feel really put together. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that is just true. Like you just feel so much more put together if you can just shove something on. And I love something that I can eat loads of food in. So it would have been perfect, but not this time, sadly, um, which I'm really, really, really sad about. It's just a bit crap. I was thinking about taking you to the cinema with me tonight, but I might have to do it on my phone because I'm still a bit nervous about filming outside. I just don't know how I feel about that. And also, like, we have this really big camera set up. Like, let me show you in the mirror. Like, look at this. <laughs> look at this setup going on. I mean, it's quite crazy. So, Oh, I don't know if that's going to be in the same place. So I'm just not sure how I feel about that. I was actually saying yesterday to my boyfriend, like, we need to get a smaller microphone because that thing is freaking massive and I just don't think I could walk around in public with that. So either we need to get used to filming without the microphone and hope that the camera is good enough. I mean, it's a, it's a decent camera, so, so it should be fine. Um, or we need to get a smaller microphone that I don't feel embarrassed to walk around with because right now I look like I'm part of like BBC crew trying to film a new TV production 
rather than just me chatting to myself filming a vlog so it's just not really not really a vibe i'll be honest um next in my little get ready routine i actually use pear soap i think wow it's making my face look like an orange <laughs> um yeah i use pear soap that my ride or die I have gone through so many eyebrow products. It's ridiculous. So, so many eyebrow products in my time. And literally, this is the best thing I've ever used on my brows. I literally use a spoolie, which are like three pounds for a pack of 100 on Amazon. And I can use it, you know, a few times before it goes dodgy and pear soap with a dash, a dash of water on it. Let it go a little bit dry and then voila. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is so I'm hopeful you can see the difference, if I come in a little bit, the difference in my brows. Like, it's crazy. It just frames your face so well when you do this. I literally am obsessed with how it looks. Um, Everyone who didn't believe it Um, beauty blender that I use is Real Techniques, I think, is that what they're called? And then the brushes I use at the moment are the Zoeva ones. I bought these a few months ago. In fact, I got them at Christmas. I bought them at Christmas because there was a really good sale on. And I love them. They're really, 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 really good. Um, they're just like, yeah, great brushes, really good quality and really like, Good, like they just make a good finish so I thought I'd tell you about these so I'm using the 102 silk finish um, I actually use that for my bronzer <laughs> I'm not a makeup artist I use that for my bronzer and then I will be using the 127 luxe sheer cheek and then I use a really old real techniques brush like I'm actually not going to show you it properly because it's disgusting I use that to blend in and then I think that's it I feel like I get so rosy when I do my face and my hair, but I've just finished my hair and I am obsessed. I think it looks so good today. I don't know what I've done differently. I've started using my old trusty Babyliss 30 pound wand again, which I've literally had for five years. And it's working a treat now that my hair's a little bit longer. I'm just gonna spritz. Oh shit. Tresemme, uh, firm holes, level three. <laughs> you can tell that I'm not <laughs> a hairstylist or a beauty blogger, can't you? <laughs> anyway. All sorted, ready to rock and roll, get a glass of Pims, get a piece of pizza. Thinking, you know, my favorite pizza is truffle mushroom. Oh my God, I can't live without it. So I think I'm gonna get one of those tonight. 
Um, and then finally, just quickly, I thought I would show you my outfit. So literally, I've just got my gray jacket on with some jeans from Topshop. And then I've got my Axel Arigatos and we have a Furla handbag. I will tag everything that I can down below. Um, and I hope that you like my outfit. It's very casual. I'm not going too hot up there because obviously we are literally going to sit outside in a cinema. So I'm not gonna put too much effort in. But yeah, I am really, really looking forward to it. And I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna take you guys with me. I might be on my phone though. <laughs> Oh, I'm really blurry. Why am I so blurry? I'm back. I, uh, I'm going again. What's going on? Anyway, I think we're gonna take, I'm gonna take you guys with me, but it might be on my phone. So bear with me, because I want to do a few clips, do a little montage. Um, but it will probably not be on my camera because I just can't face taking this out in public right now. Welcome back. I say welcome back. This is the same vlog, but it's a new day. It's a new week. It's so sunny. It's literally 28 degrees in London today and I am here for it. But I have got this really cute new overshirt on, which I spoke about previously. I managed to find one in stock in London Stratford store in Zara and it was a large so it's a bit big but we are gonna deal with it I have a feeling my camera is gonna die which is gonna be so frustrating anyway not here to talk about this my HelloFresh delivery has just arrived so I thought I'd really quickly go through some of the recipes that we've had come this week because I am loving HelloFresh it is a life changer I've just become, like, I was a bit bored of my food. I was cooking very samey things all the time. And now, well, I've basically become a chef. So give me two seconds. I'm gonna open it. So you literally just get a huge box every week. We get uh, five meals a week, so two portions of five meals every week. And then it comes with, oh, they're all really crumpled. All of the recipes that you need. Oh dear. And then, This bag is like full of ice. So like all of your like fresh cheese, meat comes in this bag. And then for each, each recipe, like coincides with a number. So you get a little bag with all of the fresh food you need to cook your meals. I literally love it, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm just gonna move this. So, really quickly, I thought I'd just tell you some of the recipes we've got this week. Because they're just great. Like, it's so nice when you just don't know what you want to cook and you're like, oh, it's fine, we've got HelloFresh, we'll just have this. So, 
This is the first recipe. I have no idea if you can see this. So this week we have crispy chicken breast with mushroom vin sauce, carrots and roast garlic mash. Now tell me that doesn't just scream autumn. It screams autumn to me. Porky parpadelli pasta. Can't really go wrong. Love pork, love pasta. Some of them are a bit like out there. So this is a Parisian inspired chicken with mustardy lentils, spinach and roasted carrots. Again, ah, I'm sure you'll be able to see it, but looks amazing. And then we've got a lamb and chickpea stew with ciabatta. Now I get so excited when the meal comes with ciabatta. It makes me so happy because I am a ciabatta fiend. It's literally ciabatta or garlic, garlic ciabatta is the elite food and whoever says it isn't is a liar. And then we have finally a king prawn risotto with a lemon crumb topping. So really excited about this this week i think the best thing about hellofresh for me is it really makes you explore food that you wouldn't necessarily normally have um like i would never think to put prawns with cajun spices in a risotto i would never think to have chickpeas and ciabatta i would never have lentils like i would never pick to cook lentils unless it's in a curry Porky Papa Deli, that's kind of a classic in a way. And crispy chicken breast, oh, sounds so good. So really, really quick introduction to HelloFresh, but also like such a good thing to do if you're into your cooking, or on the other hand, you're not into cooking and you wanna get into it, like it's great because each of the recipes has a step-by-step -step guide on how to cook it. And usually the only things that you need to add are like <laughs> are you listening <laughs> babe i'm filming <laughs> apologies i'm pretty sorry about that little interlude what i was going to say is it's so good because the only thing you have to add is like olive oil and water so you're sorted but this meal with a glass of red wine is such a bliss meal however i'm just thinking about like what we can have for dinner tonight and i have a feeling it might have to be the lamb and chickpeas because the rest of them are a little bit too autumnal and it's literally boiling i'm actually sweating in this jacket it's too hot for that today so we'll probably end up having these uh i have two minutes left on my memory card so i'm gonna have to love you and leave you because literally i forgot to take all of the content off before i filmed this so it's had to be a really quick one but that being said let's just bring the star of the show back I highly recommend HelloFresh. It's bloody amazing. It literally makes me so excited to cook. It makes me so excited to try different food. And also, my friend came over the other night and I cooked her one of the meals and she loved it. So it's really worth investing in. Um, and I'm pretty sure that, well, I know it, the first few weeks you get a discount. So if you want to trial it, you get it for half price and it's so so worth it you will not look back i promise go and have a look and let me know what you think and also if you try any of the meals that i've spoken about today or you've had any of them before because i'm still new to this please let me know fab i'm gonna go because my camera is gonna run out of battery any second i was just in the middle of editing this vlog and i have not said thank you um, for watching. So I wanted to come on quickly, sneak peek of some of the things coming soon. I wanted to come on quickly and say thank you so, so much for watching my first ever vlog. I've really enjoyed filming and editing this. 
and I'm so excited to create more in the future. Um, so if this, this is the sort of thing that you enjoy and you want to get to know me a little bit more, please, you know, click the like button, click subscribe if you fancy, and also come and join me on Instagram because there is going to be so much exciting content coming there soon. Any questions about anything I've shared today, just pop a little comment down below and I'll really, really look forward to catching up with you again soon. Before I go, just wanted to do a little plug because I have just done the biggest Zara order in history and I am going to be putting a power suit workwear, just general badass girl uh, haul up on my channel and that will be going live on Sunday all being well and I would love for you to come and have a look I am so excited to share this power suits are my favorite thing in the whole world so if that's the sort of thing you're into please come back and take a look and I will see you all very 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 soon but thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you in the near future <laughs>